Okay, what's your name and where you come from? Uh, I'm from Australia and my name is Kay Medley. So, why you get the Free Tibet tattoo today? Because uh, I feel strongly about the Free Tibet movement and I'd like to help in this way. I feel this way will help. Uh, what do you know about Tibet? Uh, I know Tibet is a territory which was uh, independent and now China has come in and is uh, causing havoc for all the Tibetans and they have to flee here. Places like this. I think it's an injustice, definitely. Mm. Do you think uh, why China wants so much Tibet and um, you know what we're protesting, we, we sell family, everything is like ignoring and why they want to so much? It's, uh, it's ridiculous. It's, they're, they're trying to control something which is not theirs and these, left these people powerless. Like there are peaceful people like the Buddhist monks and people like this. They've always been like a peaceful a race and now the Chinese are coming in with such force and shooting and killing people and it really shows when you see these monks who are lighting themselves on fire this self-immolation it really shows how passionate the Tibetans are about this movement and how passion how much passion is enthralled in this whole situation right now you can definitely see that and I'm not I can't light myself on fire I can't don't have the power to do that but I feel this will help in some way it's, I see it as kind of like a seed. Uh, this tattoo, it will be, if someone sees this tattoo, they can see Free Tibet and they can ask me about it and I can plant a seed in their brain and then that seed can spread to another brain and eventually it can spread. Like, I'm sure I'm only one person, but I myself as one person, I can maybe affect a hundred people or maybe ten or maybe one, but if I affect just one other person, I think it'll be worth it. Uh, where are you going to get the uh, Fita Beta to wear? Uh, just here, my forearm, my bicep. How are you going to work, um, like when I get the Fita Beta to, how are you going to spill the Tibet message? Oh, well, if anyone ever sees the tattoo, like if I wear a singlet or a shirt, oh, I've got my shirt off, it'll, be, it'll catch someone's attention because it's a tattoo and they will see and they can ask me about it or I can tell them about it and then plant the seed. So right now we have a situation that um, serious problem. Uh, we did uh, sacrifice the life, self emulation What do you think about this? How it's going to be work? Um, what outside um, people Tibetan support and Tibet, what do we need to do? That's a very difficult question. <sighs> Well, mm, well, if you you can't really keep fighting a power like China like this, it really justice would be served if Tibet was its own independent country and wasn't affected by this by China. But maybe it's out of grasp. I don't think a war would be uh, would serve much purpose if a war broke out over this. I think China really needs to. I'm not sure really step back on the issue, but it's such a top like a touchy topic. It's free Tibet, it should be Tibet as its country, no other country should try and grab this country. It should just be for themselves. And that's how I feel. So like um, in other country, some of our Muslim country, mm -hmm. one of the uh, uprising, everything is like always in the world, the media is there. Yeah. But uh, now, in Tibet, we have self emulation, self always got uh, lots of uh, suffering, but there's no world the media. What do you think? What's the reason why they cannot go to in China? I know exactly the reason. Because in China, China is so powerful economically around the world, no one, no one wants to talk bad about China. China's manufacturing for the globe, and if they, no one wants to be on this doorstep with China in their economic situation. In the Middle East, for instance, it's different because in the Middle East there's war profit profiteering and things like this happening in the Middle East. And this is being excelled every day. Like, for instance, it's strange how 10 American troops, like even one American troop, gets shot and killed. That's all over the news. And then you've got 82 self immolations from the Tibetan monks. And this is to be honest, I barely saw this at all in the news. If, if once, it's you yeah, can definitely see that 
The Tibetan situation is not being highlighted at all politically. The message obviously isn't being spread. The media is not doing their job properly. And it's, all, it's just not being done properly and the message needs to be put out there the right way. The right message needs to be put out there because it's not getting out there. So somehow the message needs to be spread and I feel like I can help spread this message by doing this because the media is not doing it. So we as a people have to do that. We have to spread the message because we can't rely on the media to do it because they're not doing it. So what do you think and how can we can make uh, pressure on uh, China? How can we make pressure on China? Mm. By spreading this message and getting it more well known. Because the media is not doing it, we need to do it and get that message out there. And when the message is out there, we can all, as a people, fix this situation and use our political stances and votes to get this situation sorted out. We have to be optimistic about the situation. We have to hope that one day we can, that it is possible, we need to know that it is possible to get the Chinese out of Tibet. And if we believe that this can happen, and it, it, it really can, if we all believe that it can happen, it, it's possible that we can do this. But we need people to know about it because no one knows about it. The media is not, not telling people, so we need to tell people. We all need to be informed, all of us. And this is the best way that I think that we can do it is by spreading it by word of mouth. Mm. Spreading it by yeah, like words. And uh, some people you know do like a safe Tibet, and some people do you know other words. What's important for you the free Tibet? The, the word the word free mm. is a very important word. I think this is a very powerful and strong word. It holds a very strong meaning. Free is. It's just freedom, you know, being free, not having to worry about other things coming in and threatening you, being free to do what you want, being free to run your culture the way you want, being free to be the Tibet that you want to be, not the Chinese Tibet, to be the Tibet that you want, not a China, not China, you know what I mean? And in regards to save, Tibet does need saving, sure. Save, to save Tibet, is also a very very good statement but I think it makes Tibet seem sort of like it does need help like it, it is in a desperate situation it does need saving but freedom should be the ultimate goal like it's one thing to save Tibet but to have a free Tibet is a much better thing than just to save it yeah so um, I just wanted to say something to uh, the Chinese government fuck you taking over Tibet like, really am angry, you know, because uh, what's happened to China, I think, uh, what's happened to Tibet through China is uh, really wrong. You know, taking, it's a total misuse of power, it's a corruption of power, it's uh, evil, it's, uh, you know, so many levels to what is wrong with what's happening in Tibet. Um, so, do some research, find out what's going on, and get real and educate yourself to what's happening, and wake up, and stand with the people, and fuck you government, and just the system's got to be destroyed because it's corruption and it's killing people. So, you know, um, free Tibet. Give people freedom. This is the thing of the new age. It's all about freedom. So, Well, to be honest, I haven't heard about, about Tibet or what's happening in Tibet at all in the media in Germany. So, um, why should it be in the media somewhere else in the world? And I haven't spoke to anyone who told me that he had he really heard about Tibet, Tibet and what's happening there. So um, we should really spread the message out. We should we should talk about it. We should let people know why why we stand behind this idea. And I think it already happens a little more because, for example, the Dalai Lama was allowed to come to Cuba, which is a communism country. So there are uh, there are already countries who say. China, you do something wrong. It's something wrong with the way you, you, you handle the problem with Tibet. Just make the outlines. This is cool. Can I see?
irgendwann mal davon gehört hat, dass Tibet nicht frei ist im Moment. Weil ich habe davon nicht gehört. Und ich habe mit vielen Leuten von der Welt gesprochen und niemand hat mir erzählt, dass Tibet nicht frei nicht ah, Englisch. Niemand hat mir erzählt, dass Tibet nicht frei ist. Also, was ist das eigentliche Problem? Das eigentliche Problem an der ganzen Geschichte ist, dass dieses kleine Land völlig von China über, überrumpelt wurde. Das heißt, dass Tibet aufgrund von, von, von Wirtschaftsgründen, aufgrund von, von Ressourcen, die sie in der Erde haben, von China übernommen wurde. Weil China ist meine persönliche, meine persönliche Ansicht, gerne die ganze Welt haben würde. So, die ganz anderen Länder auf der Welt sind, haben so große Angst vor, vor der Macht von China und vor, vor den Dingen, die China tun könnte, wieder aus wirtschaftlichen Gründen, weil es am Ende dann wieder auch nur ums Geld geht. Dass sie einfach den Mund schließen, versuchen die Medien in den einzelnen, in den einzelnen Ländern nicht, nicht, den, nicht, den, äh, Bewohnern, nicht die Bewohner das mitbekommen zu lassen. Das heißt, wir als einzelne Bewohner müssen erstmal davon Wind bekommen. Wir müssen als zweites anderen, anderen Leuten davon erzählen. Und wir müssen es schaffen, dass am Ende die Regierung sagt, okay, wir können das zusammen machen, wir können zusammen, wir können zusammen versuchen, weil sie sehen, dass die Bewohner immer stärker werden. Wir können gemeinsam versuchen, Tibet als Land zu retten und nicht China die ganze, die ganze, Macht, die ganze Macht überlassen. Weil was, was, für, was für uns als einzelne Bewohner, eben gerade aus Europa, aus Amerika, aus allen anderen Kontinenten der Welt passiert, ist, dass uns der Mund geschlossen wird, dass uns die Augen geschlossen werden, dass wir keine Wahl haben, was wir machen wollen, dass wir keine, keine Wahl haben, weil wir nicht davon wissen, Tibet zu retten. Thank you.